Game four of the 2024 Como Blitz Ball season. We have the Riptides versus the Redbirds. We gotta practice celebration. Phew. Phew. Are you ready, Booth? Absolutely, we are ready, Chandler Sartain. Matt Foster will be the starter again here in the second game of the season for the Redbirds. Do have a win under their belt, and Matt looked lights out on the mound. All right, gentlemen, commence. Hudson's also just been fighting in at bats. He, he seems to foul the ball off a lot. The leadoff batter, you just need to be on base. And off Matt Foster, that's difficult. And we're gonna see the first delivery of this game from him here. 2-0 delivery to Hudson. Gets the bottom corner. That's a great spot there for Matt. Yep. That's cute. That's so cute. Matt looking to battle back here against Hudson, but he does not. And that's gonna be a leadoff walk. That's what I was talking about. As a leadoff batter, you just need to find your way on base. Bruce Clapp, a DH now in this league, decides not to pitch. But last game, he had a few good hits for the Riptides, and he's gonna have to come up big for the Riptides if they want to be contenders definitely at the plate. Rips hard to the left side, nobody's there. Jake over there to get it. Hudson aggressive at second, but does not go. A single there from Reese is huge for his confidence, for the Riptide's confidence, and for Josh, who's now up to the plate. There's been two surprises for the Riptide so far. It's been Josh's pitching this season and Reese's hitting. Those two have been those two have been really good and stepped up when Hudson hasn't been there. Holy, that was a rip, dude. Hey, good pitch. You good. Reese looks pretty good this year. At the plate. You wouldn't think it. Oh, the first strike you see is fouls it off. That he does. Two strike delivery. Josh looking to protect. That's going to be ball number six. And now the bases are loaded for Hudson Borgmeyer, the captain, coming back up to the plate. Yeah, let's go home. I know, so should I play at home? Yeah, play home. We'll, we'll play in. All you have to do, and you can stay behind there, you just catch it and hit even the back of the zone, they're out. All right, so that is going to be ball six to Hudson. The speed limit moving to 75 miles an hour now on that first walk with the bases loaded. A walk here would be a run, however. Oh, oh, count here. <laughs> that is a gross screw ball. We're gonna, gonna be a strike there. Swings at that one there. Gonna be under the speed limit. They're gonna count a strike two. Two strikes on Hudson. Delivery from Matt. Oh, my off speed got him. That's big with the bases loaded. Still a 0-0 ball game, one out, and that might be what Matt needed to get rolling. Hat off too. Hat off, yeah, visual frustration yeah. from Hudson. Hudson, throw the hat down! There you go. Oh, that wasn't very uh, animated if no. any of our cameras caught it's that. It's more like sad. He got excited, yep, beautiful. Aiden, we're still coming to you. Actually, with Reese's, it's a bad idea. Everything he hits is like 110. <laughs> Reese clap, honestly, Solid hitter so far, so you're, no, my gosh, I thought that was gonna be, for some reason, like, when he swung, I was like, uh-oh. Matt, knuckle. In the MLB baseball league, you can hit a ball 110. Ew. <laughs> Ew. That's gross right there, too. Ew. Yep, that's disgusting. A knuckle that starts middle, and he'll chase. Knuckle that starts middle. Oh, Ew. No. oh my God. Lands for oh, strike wait. three, my goodness. That was gross, and that was strike three. Back to back K's with the bases loaded, let's go. Aiden, back out here, any base. We got two outs. Strike one. That is going to be ball number six, and we are going to reset the count with a 75 mile an hour speed limit for the second at bat with the bases loaded. Now, now you got all your off speed. All your off speed. 5-0 pitch, now you're, you're being a little less aggressive. Just try to push a run across with a walk here at this point inside and he is going to draw that walk for the first run of this game 1-0 riptides you good you good chandler just letting matt ride this setting out i i don't disagree with it he only needs one more out screw ball down the middle there he needs to get it dialed back in here and he does with that screw ball when do you swing when when do you swing probably right there Oh, he doesn't, and he sees it down the middle for the third strike yeah. of the beautiful, bat beautiful. in the end of the inning. No matter what skill level of blitz ball you are, you could do the same thing, exact same thing that Hudson did that at bat. Watch. <laughs> the Riptide strand of the base is loaded there. Matt records three strikeouts, but does walk in one run, so it's going to be one to zero. The nice thing is, probably the worst pitching team will face us this year. I say that now on the camera, and that's going to get clipped later, but... Chandler is a guy who's gonna hit the ball hard, and Josh is the, the guy who's been around the league a lot and knows that.
and we'll see what kind of pitches Chandler gets. Oh, what a spot. If you're gonna pitch somewhere to Chandler, it's high and in. Dude! Sorry, sorry, I said that way too loud the mic. Leaves that one over the middle, Hudson ranging over to field it, but he does not. Chandler on first base with a single. Oh, dude, Chandler batting average is gonna be crazy. That boy hit the ball a lot. Josh gives up a hit to Chandler. Look at me, speed demon. And Matt up to the plate now. Ooh, great spot. Literally threw that ball around the bat of Matt Foster. In play, left side, Reese Fielding fields it cleanly on the run, didn't set his feet. Little bit confusing there. Overthrow, Chandler to third. I just don't exactly know what Reese was doing over there. He fielded it fine. He continued to run forward and tried to make the play more complicated than it needed to be. That's broke, he needs to fix it. <laughs> yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's broke, it needs to be fixed. Yeah, if, it, if the ball's on this side, it's basically you hold it. That is the definition of trying to do too much. I don't know, some of you back at home, you guys probably watched Derek Jeter before. Two strike delivery, Aiden looking to protect. Ball number six there from Josh. Aiden will be on first and the bases will be loaded. Matt, if you can make it home. I mean, it's rare for Chandler to miss the ball. Like he hits the ball a lot and he gets to bat a lot. Right on cue. It, it probably is right on cue. Yup, it is. It took, uh, oh, well, I don't know, it's Harper over there. He feels it and he makes the play and he's really excited about it. <laughs> and the Redbirds score a run. <laughs> as excited as the Riptides are, that is one to one ball game. No way. <laughs> Harper made the play. He said, He made the play. Y'all told me to hit it over there. Wow, good play. Hey, tie ball game, gentlemen. I'll take the Ribby. Come along. You've come a long way. I've come a long way. In one day. <laughs> oh my, what a spot there outside. Pipe, Josh, strike one. Ripped right side, in the air, foul. Oh, good swing, kid. I think sooner than later, there's gonna be a home run hit if Josh keeps throwing those fastballs. But the thing is, that's his locating pitch, so maybe he has to keep pumping it in. Oh, oh, and he pumps it into the zone, literally, and Matt goes down on strikes. Yeah, baby! You're good. That was cool. You know your job, Aiden. Get me back up. <laughs> Aiden's a guy who's been around Blitzball long enough to know where this ball is. He's a ground ball merchant. He's capable of hitting home run. That's not even a bad thing. Like, he hits ground balls and he gets hits. Oh! <laughs> the knuckle drop from Josh Bradley, my goodness. Wow. I did not know before today that Josh Bradley could do that. Two outs, two on, tie ball game, two strike delivery, ripped it to the Out right side, a ground ball, nobody over there to field it. Jake rounding third, Chandler staying at second, the, no, he holds it, and it is going to be two to one Redbirds on a ground ball from Aiden, like we were saying, you don't Out have to elevate it, you just have to put it in play, two one Redbirds. Maybe one of the most underrated players in the league, Aiden McDermott, just comes up in those moments where you just need him, he won't swing at bad pitches, and he'll just put the ball in play, Big time for the Redbirds. They have the lead now two to one. And he still finds a way to put a bat on a knuckle drop, which is all you have to do, push his run across. Okay, mister, I walk every time, let's go. Some of us play baseball year round, all the time. And then there's Aiden, who shows up and he plays. And he's the Brooks Kepka of uh, Blitzball. Aiden literally only plays on days when he has to. Rips to the right side, Reese over there to field it. He's gotta field it clean, it's a race to the back. Oh, he hit him before, he hit him before first base. That's gonna be oh, an no. out. He's hurt, Smash. he's hurt. Oh, he absolutely. <laughs> you got me though, I'll give you that. Holy, I love you, but holy shit. <laughs> Reese absolutely drilled him in the gut. And it's gonna be a long night for Chandler. <laughs> My goodness. Hey, hey, everything good? Hey, where'd you get it? Right here. Wait, pull it up, pull it up. I think it's okay. Ow! Reese found out that he was not going to beat Chandler to the bag, so instead he threw a piss missile at his gut. Listen, what a heads up play by Reese. Yes! Normal baseball, that doesn't happen, but here we are where the runners are just getting drilled with the ball. Yeah, yeah. Inning number two, Jake Short on the mound for the Redbirds. He knows how to throw strikes and he knows how to allow home runs. Let's see what happens in I this inning. One of the two is going to happen. He knows how to do both pretty well. He's... 
That one stays flat for a strike. Goes, but outside pipe, not much you can do there for strike two. Two strikes on Reese, the delivery. Oh, he does offer at the outside pitch. Strike number three, helping the pitcher out there. You can't really do that. I can't do it though, because I got sorted my last at bat. Oh, ugh. Jake is so good, dude. Like, I have a great guy behind me. And if I don't perform well, this guy performs well. On Josh, the delivery. Oh, gets the bottom pipe, good spot there for strike two. Oh. Looking to get this inning started for the Riptides. Ooh, fouls one off there. And that was just two bad strike threes from the Riptides. I don't know what they're doing. Having to get your fourth batter in at bat, you need to do it in the right spot. And right now when they don't really have much going for them this inning, you need to get this at bat out of the way. I love this move. Each team fields four players per game. The, every single player on the team at least needs to get one at bat per game. I don't know if he's ever swung a blitz ball bat before. No, I really don't think he has. So the Riptides are excited for everything that's not a strike, but that is for a 1-1 one -one count. Can't find his own right now. Ball number six, Harper is on first base after doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> and today's fraudulent report, Jake Short. Looking after my player. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. The risk that the Riptides took paid off Putting in their fourth player, he watched and Hudson now up with a runner on, down one. Ripped hard to the left side. Matt chasing after it, Harper rounding second. Good piece of hitting there from Hudson. Moves the runner over and Reese up to the plate now after a single from Hudson. Listen, it is a close game. I wouldn't mind it. However, we did see Reese chase in the last at bat. And if you're Jake, you ride that confidence and you do this again. You don't give him anything great to hit and you hope that Reese wants to be a hero. You get him to chase, you get this out. Hey, nothing hurt though. Nothing hurt. I do believe you just need to stay away from the zone. Oh, but he still goes through it right there. Oh my, cuts through another one. It literally looks like there's a hole in his bat because I feel that that ball should have been hit hard. But he swings under it. Two strike delivery from Jake. <laughs> Got to the bottom of the zone. Did he swing all three times too? No, just just the first two, and then he watched the third one. Walk it in. Do I walk it in? Oh! Headed into the bottom of the second. Redbirds still with a two to one lead. Looks like Hudson's gonna come into this game. Step, hips, swing. Sleeping on him. It's home Sleep on for you this inning. I do. I just cannot make solid contact. Two zero delivery from Hudson. Fastball ripped right side, drifting, foul. I'm late on it, bro. Late on it. Hudson went with a DH for the second pick as of right now. Oof, good fastball there at the bottom half. Two strikes now on Matt. One moment. Oh, he wanted it. I think he heard you. Swung for strike three. Two strikes on Jake. Fastball inside, right. takes it for a walk. Hudson, a, mm, a hurtful walk there. You can't really walk Jake when you know he's not going to do much. Dude, I need to start hitting or our team's bad. Hudson just made by walking a not great hitter and bringing up Chandler to the plate. He does not. He gets the walk. You've got Matt coming up, who was literally the league leader in home runs last year. Oh, he goes at the high fastball, fouls it off. Oh! Oh, it's, a, it's the bat, bro. Oh, offers at the high one for strike two. Speaking of it being the Christmas jersey game, Matt's giving Hudson a nice Christmas gift with all these chasing. And then Hudson's giving him a gift right back with a strike on the outside pipe for strike three. It's <laughs> a horrible present. <laughs> that was a bad gift. If, I think the Redbirds need to score here, I'll start in trouble in my opinion. I don't think Matt had a great first inning. Dude, it's, it's a 2-1 ball game. It should be like... 17 to nothing. Oh my goodness, he's on it. We still have another at bat if we let up runs. I need the steamroller mat back. I hit well. Now I'm washed. Am I washed? You saw it. Am I a fraud? There. I don't know why, he just looks dialed. And if he gets one to hit, he won't hit it because he swings and misses like that. Screwball in the middle of the zone, that's gonna be strike three. Aiden watches it go by and he will also go by to the outfield so he can play defense, because this inning is over. Dang it, shoot, dang it. That's a huge third out for the Riptides. Only down one run, they need a run here. 
The Redbirds staying with Jake here in this third inning. They're daring Kariptides to hit the ball because Jake is more of the accurate pitcher for this Redbirds team. I'm going to be honest, I don't like it. I think that Matt Foster dialed it in towards the end of that first inning. He got his three strikeouts. It's all part of the plan. You just wait, pal. It's about if the Riptides can turn around those strikes and turn them into a run. Because he's just going to deliver strikes like he did last inning. And if he puts himself in a spot, a little bit nervous, they'll bring in Matt because Matt has a less chance of giving up a home run. Can't, you can't help him like that. Strike two. Oh, there it is. Found the strike zone for the third of the at-bat, and that is out number one. Josh helped him out too much there. You can't do that. You've got to find a way on base. The 2022 0-5 Riptides are back, ladies and gentlemen. Hudson, the captain of his team, has to do captain things, and that's at a home run here. He needs to get on base. He really needs to get on base and just keep moving the torch. But if, he's, if Jake's going to do that, my goodness. Pipe twice. Pipe twice. You can't do anything about that, Hudson, first two pitches. Three pipes in a row, why not? Oh, it's strike three, three pitches, and Jake Short going crazy, and Chilla talking to us as we judge his decision. And yes, the decision is indeed paying off, and Jake's gonna try to do three more of them in this final at bat to Reese Clapp. Jake's also dotting the corners too. And if there's one guy today to hit a home run for the Red Pets, it's Reese. Jake just painting the outside parts of the strikes, and he's cooking. Jake only down by one run, the delivery. That is strike number two on Reese. He watches it go by, and the Riptides are down to their final strike. Jake needs one more strike to finish this game, but it's a full count. A ball puts him on first. The strike wins the game. Sweet, a miss. Strike number three. That's going to do it. The Redbirds are going to win this game. Jake finishes it out strong with three straight Ks. The decision to keep him in pays off unbelievably. The Redbirds take yet another win. They're 2-0. The Riptides 0-2. Redbirds look legit this year, but there's a lot of good teams that haven't even played yet. Uh, so we're gonna have to see them how they fare up against the top team. The Riptides, bottom of the league at 0-2. The Riptides are 0-7 without Trent Severino on their team with Hudson as a catch. Something to know, something to definitely know. Um, really, really sinking a well to the PO job, you know. Got, a, got two walks to start the year. Um, first game, pitched a little rough, but second game, you know, really dialed in there, got the second and third. Uh, Matt got in a little trouble, we got him out of it. We're really playing well, we're hitting the ball well, we're pitching well, so I think we got a, got a good shot this year, I'm liking it. And our next game will be the Mustangs versus the Vipers. Trent, as a new captain of his own team, that game will be played at a special location. You're gonna wanna tune into that one. We'll see you there. Make sure to get your grill floss for Father's Day. Use the code COMO for $5 off your order.